All right, so let's talk about the very useful grab command in Linux operating system with the help of 15 plus use cases or example, which will be in the question and answer form. So it will be a very interesting and useful video. So first start with what is the grab command? It is a global regular expression print. So what it exactly does? So it search for a particular string keyword from a file and print lines based on the matching, I mean matched pattern. And it check line by line and print the line matchings with the given pattern. So in simple, uh, you can search for a string or a keyword or a pattern in a file and get the related output only. Apart from the files, we can also use grab command um, anywhere like uh, in combination with the other commands also. We will see an example. But, but, but before that, let's uh, have a look at the syntax of the grab command. So it is very simple grab then option so option is optional okay and we will see a lot of examples of the options after that pattern so it could be the string or a keyword or the pattern and then a file name okay and uh, let's see one example but we will be combining here the grab command with the other command for example if i do ls right so it will give you all the files here okay now just imagine a scenario if you have 1000 files okay it is very hard for you to see or to get a specific file right so you can do ls pipe sign okay then grab so pipe sign here is used to combine the different commands for example ls gives you some output right so on that output perform some action so it's like grab and example here are like so many files i just need the file to here so i can just do file two as soon as i hit enter you will only see one result okay so in this way you can search for a specific uh file i mean or any output like this so let's start with example number one or case one how to ignore the upper and lower case while searching i mean i have a file also here and uh, let me show you users.csv and uh, it's and it is having the data of thousand people okay so it's a very huge file for example i need to find the data of a person whose name is candy so what i can do grab candy okay so grab and then a pattern and then a file name that is the user dos users.csv that's it so you will see the related data only on my terminal okay very simple but in general if you use for example c smaller so you will not get any result because it's a case sensitive so first case is to ignore the upper and lower case while searching so you need to use a option also which is hyphen i in the starting hyphen i means ignore the case sensitivity and if you do hit enter so you will see the result case number two to search everything except given pattern or a keyword so this is opposite to what we were doing so whatever the pattern or the word we provide except that search everything so for example i have a file here uh, file one okay i am having like these four lines only okay so if i simply do grab an example raju and uh, file one like this so it will only give you I mean like one result that matching result if i want that accept this search everything i just need to add one simple option that is a hyphen v okay and that's it so ap apart from raju it will give you everything case number three to print how many times or just count the given keyword present in the file okay while using the grab candy user or csv i got this result but i just need to know the number of instances occurred in the file so i will use hyphen c that is for count and it will give you how many times it occurred or it is present in the file so it is only present twice okay but why you can see in above result like okay it is a six times like candy candy okay so it's six times present but if you see the real difference we are talking about the exact match for example candy okay so other candies are actually not only single word but it is a whole email address for example if i do hyphen c if i search for this thing like exact thing uh users.csv so you will get result only once 
केस नंबर फोर टू सर्च फॉर एग्जैक्ट मैच ऑफ अ गिवन कीवर्ड इन अ फाइल सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एग्जैक्ट मैच वी वर सर्चिंग फॉर कैंडी यूजर सोफा राइट इफ इवन आई रिमूव वाई एंड ओनली यूज सी एंड डी दैट सेट यू विल स्टिल सी सम रिजल्ट ओके सो दैट मीन्स इट इज नॉट लुकिंग फॉर अ एग्जैक्ट मैच बट इट इज लुकिंग फॉर अ पैटर्न सो अ वर्ड स्टार्टिंग विद सी ए एन डी एंड सो ऑन राइट सो इट इज नॉट अ एग्जैक्ट वर्ड सो इफ यू वॉन्ट अ एग्जैक्ट मैच यू हैव टू यूज हाईफन डब्ल्यू सो देयर इज नो वर्ड सच वर्ड लाइक सी ए एन डी इन द होल फाइल सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यूजफुल वेन यू डोंट वॉन्ट द रिलेटेड सर्च बट बट द एग्जैक्ट मैच इफ आई डू कैंडी नाउ सो यू विल सी दिस रिजल्ट केस नंबर फाइव to print the line number of matches of given keyword in a file so apart from searching the keyword now you also want to know the line number in which it is present so you can simply use a option that is a hyphen n hyphen n so you apart from the result okay you you will also get the line number like 254775 in which it is present so it is somehow useful in the log analysis case number 6 to search a given keyword in multiple files so far we were only referring and using the one file to search our keyword but can we use the multiple files yes example i have two files file 1 and file 2 okay i want to search a word raju in both the files i can simply do like this raju and file 1 and you can provide multiple file name in like this like a space separated and you will get the result like this and very useful and interesting thing is you will also see the name of the file in front of the result case number 7 uh, it is somehow related to the uh, case number 6 to suppress file names which while searching for a given keyword in multiple files so you were getting the file name also when you were using Uh, the multiple files so if you don't want these file names so what you can do simply use the hyphen h option hyphen h okay and uh, you will only see the results but not the file name i mean may be useful if you want to perform some other uh, you know task with the result so it is somehow useful case number 8 very 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 useful use case to search multiple keywords in a file okay again useful for the multitasking and all suppose we do have the users.csv file and uh, i need to find the multiple users data i can simply do grab hyphen e then first name for example jean another name hyphen e again and uh, for example uh, candy like this again third name for example uh, sara and you can provide the file name okay like this and you will see the result for each keyword you provide uh, using the hyphen e option see sara jean candy and so on although there is one more easy option for this that is uh, e grab okay and what you can do for example uh, jean okay and the other word it will be separated by the pipe sign like this and sara and uh, candy like this and you can provide the file name like this okay so it will give you the again the result case number 9 to only print file names which matches given keyword okay so when we try to find the raju in file 1 and file 2 right now and uh, just want to know or check if that word is present in that file or not so i can use the hyphen l option hyphen l option that's it so you will see only the name of the file in which this keyword is present okay so if i do like uh, banu uh, okay if i search for the banu so it is only present in file 2 case number 10 to get the keyword pattern from a file and match with the another file like for example in in one file you have the keywords and now you want to search if those keywords is present in the another file or not how we can do it okay let's see the example for this i have two file file 1 and file 2 right if i do uh, file 1 okay like this and again file 2 like this right i need to use the file 1 for the keywords like you know the all the keywords present in this file is 
is it present in another file or not file 2 so i can easily do it like grab hyphen f you can point the file 1 as the pattern okay and then file 2 in which you want to search for it okay if you give in give like this so you will see that from file 1 raju and sham these are the two keywords which is present in the file 2 okay so this is uh, a very simple use case although if i if i do the same uh, for uh, users so okay so so one so there is one matched pattern case number 11 to print the matching line which is start with given keyword okay so i am not uh, focusing on a specific keyword or string here but i am talking about a line whole line which is starting with a specific or a given keyword okay how we can do it let's see an example okay suppose i need to see all the users whose id start with one two okay it it can be anything like one two zero one one two zero two etc but it should start with one two something like that so what i can do i can just do like this caret sign okay and then you can provide a pattern for example one two zero okay like this and i will just give the file name so you will see uh like this okay so this this could be the the very thing right but if you provide like okay all the users whose id start with one two okay if i just remove the zero and do like this so you will see all the lines okay just focus on one thing i'm talking about the line but not the specific word so all the line is starting with one two okay you will get the result case number 12 to print the matching line which end with given keyword okay again we are talking in terms of the line okay but not the given word so grab keyword i mean like whatever you want to check and then dollar sign okay very interesting thing so in the previous example if you will see the result example in the last you will get some profession for example fight fighter officer developer and so many things so all the words are ending with the er or right kind of but except the doctor which is ending with the rs okay if i want to search all the results or line which is ending with rs i mean like this so what i can do grab okay and then rs okay and it is ending with the rs and dollar sign and file name okay as soon as i give hit enter you will see only result or the lines ending with the rs that is the doctors so you will get all the results uh with the word doctor so it is it, it is kind of a useful okay if you do the same thing for er okay that is a developer and fighter and all so you will get the combination like workers firefighters and developers case 13 okay suppose we have 100 files in a directory and we need to search a file in all the files okay so we have already seen our example where we can use the multiple files right i mean like space separated but in this case it is bit different and difficult also because for example if you want to search through hundred of files what you can do perform this graph option or operation on a folder okay let's try it and you just need to use the hyphen r that is the recursive mode okay like let's do ls right so we i have let's say five files here okay and i am inside the tutorials folder right now okay let me go one step back okay let me try okay i have this tutorial folder here i will now apply the grab command on the whole folder r okay then i need to check what term for example uh, sham and tutorials folder so it will go through all the files present in the tutorials folder and search for the same okay so you will see in the file one in the file two and also in the users.csv okay case number 15 if you just want to search only search but don't want to print on the terminal what you can do okay so for example grab raju file one okay like this if you don't want to print anything on the terminal right here like this so you can use hyphen q so you will not see any result 
And now you must be wondering like what is the use if I can't see anything on the terminal but these things can be useful if uh, you perform some action in the shell scripting and where you just need to check if something is present or not or if the previous command was successful or not and on that basis if you need to take some action so in those cases you can use 